and welcome to the episode 273 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we have the beginning of a trip, three studio sessions, and the publication of the only authorized biography of the Beatles. Let's start, as usual, with the 30th of September 1960 residency engagement that the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, had at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany. It was the 45th of 48 nights. In 1961, as announced in yesterday's episode, John Lennon and Paul McCartney started their trip to Paris. For his 21st birthday, a Scottish hunt had given John £100, about £2,250 in 2020 money, and he decided to go on a holiday and to bring Paul along. The initial plan was to travel to Paris and then move to Spain. They would have traveled by train or hitchhiking. As Paul himself explains in the Beatles anthology book, I had done a spot of hitchhiking with George and we knew you had to have a gimmick. We had been turned down so often and we'd seen that guys that had a gimmick, like a Union Jack around them, had always got the lifts. So I said to John, let's get a couple of bowler hats. The hats wore with their quote-unquote rocker uniform, leather jackets and drainpipe trousers, were comical enough to attract the attention of some drivers, and indeed, the two managed to get to Paris without spending a fortune on train tickets. Having arrived in Paris, John and Paul decided to stay and visit the city. They were tired of hitchhiking, they worried that the money wouldn't stretch as far as Spain and that they would be forced to work to pay for their holiday, and then they had never visited the Ville Lumière. They went out and about, and by chance, they met their old Hamburg friend Jürgen Vollmer. John and Paul did come back naturally, and in 1962, with George and the Beatles' new drummer, Ringo Starr, they performed a slot at a night dance event at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. On the 30th of September 1963, between 10 a.m. and 1.15 p.m., producer George Martin and his staff edited down a version of Little Child and Hold Me Tight for the Beatles' upcoming second album. During the session, taking place at the EMI Studios in London, Martin decided to add piano overdubs to Money, That's What I Want, and I Wanna Be Your Man. The session was rounded up with a mono mix of All I've Got To Do, Don't Bother Me, Little Child, Hold Me Tight and Not A Second Time. The Beatles, naturally, were absent. As we explained in episode 259, they were taking a well-deserved holiday. Same studios one year later in 1964, but this time the fabs were present and active. Between 2.30 and 5.30 p.m., they completed every little thing with five more takes after the four unsatisfactory attempts recorded yesterday. Then, starting at 6.30 p.m., they recorded take 8 to 11 of What You're Doing, abandoning the song when they realized that their performance still wasn't good enough. Before the conclusion of the session at 10.30 p.m., the band also completed the recording of No Reply, with a total of eight takes and the help of George Martin at the piano. Segue into the help you can give me to keep on producing an increasingly better output of music-related material and or to make this community grow. If you are wondering what indeed you can do, this must be the first episode you're listening to. No shame and welcome. Just head to www.simonmas.com support and check out all the possibilities. And since you're there, have a look at the section about the extended, deluxe version of this podcast, which should be already on sale as an NFT as you listen to this. It includes hours of extra information and curiosities for your die-hard Beatles fan needs. Thank you. 
On the 30th of September 1967, we have another studio session, with a quick mono mix of Your Mother Should Know. It was probably an attempt to see how the song sounded with some very speed experiments. Having the tapes running at different speeds to alter the pitch of the song and the quality of the sounds. None of the attempts was probably successful enough to merit any attention, as the song was remixed once again later, as we will see in episode 275. Let's close the episode with the publishing of the first and only authorized biography of the Beatles. The book, simply called The Beatles, the Authorized Biography, was written by Hunter Davis and came out for William Heinemann Limited. Davis, a Scottish writer, had approached Paul McCartney in 1965, suggesting that he was the man to write a biography of the band. Paul referred Davis to Beatles manager Brian Epstein, who approved the idea and hammered out all the details with Davis. The writer was allowed access to see the band working and playing, he conducted a series of interviews and managed to spend quite some time with the band and their families and relatives. The book, as incomplete as it is due to the fact that it came out before the band split up, is still a valid read. And I guess this is a good time to close the episode. Tomorrow, as it happens every first of the month, will detail the events of the 1st of October and those that happened during the month without a specific recorded date. Fun times and a long show, I guess. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.